Hello, I'm Becca. I write a blog over at beccafarrelly.co.uk and I thought I'd do a quick video today um, because we all know how difficult it is to get a chance to put our makeup on in the mornings. I know that very often that I don't actually wear makeup just because I purely don't have time. Um, so I thought I'd do a really, really quick, simple makeup um, routine for you just in case it gives you some hints and tips as to how you can get a chance to do yours. So in the morning after I have a shower I first of all start with a eye cream. I am just over 30 so I think that once you hit 30 you need to really be using not anti-aging things as such but things to make sure that your skin stays as nice as it can do for as long as possible. So I start off with I use number 7 um, eye cream. And then I use a light day moisturiser with an SPF because again I've got really really pale skin so I need to make sure that um, the sun doesn't affect my skin in any way when I'm out. Then if I'm wearing makeup, if I know I've got time to do my makeup, then I use a primer. So at the moment I'm using a Rimmel primer and that again has an SPF in it um, just to make sure that I've definitely got SPF on my skin. Um, if I'm not wearing makeup that day then I will use a tinted moisturiser just because it gives my skin a little bit of colour as I said my skin is so pale I've got a slight bit of rosacea here um, so I need to make sure that that's covered a little bit. Um, so I will show you how you can get from no makeup at all to this. A very simple, easy, quick. It literally took me 15 minutes and that's through doing everything a little bit slower. So I reckon about 12 minutes it should take. Okay, so first off I use an Argos makeup sponge with the Maybelline Matte Mousse Foundation and I have that one in ivory just because I've got really, really pale skin. Now I like this foundation as it gives really, really nice coverage when I don't want to wear heavy foundation. And I actually use this one as a base when I'm going out on a night out or when I just want heavier coverage. Um, and I use a L'Oreal foundation over the top just when I need it to be a little bit heavier. I'm going to use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in Fair, obviously again due to my skin colour. Um, I apply this with a makeup, a mini mini makeup sponge just to get the, it right into the corners of my eyes. Um, I use this because I've got two children and um, one of whom doesn't uh, sleep very well. So those black bags under my eyes need covering. I really like this mini sponge as you can really get it into the corners and it just lifts that foundation in a little bit and yeah covers those, those black bags. I've actually just discovered contouring so I bought this Profusion contour palette which I actually got from the poundshop.com and it was about three quid and um, I thought it was a good starting out place um, but I use the lightest shade for main contouring which is this one here and that's used for my everyday makeup and then I go on to a, like a shimmery bronze colour that I just pop over the top of my cheeks I just find it helps lift my makeup and give it that little bit of edge as opposed to just having um, just having foundation on. Uh, it, it really, really 
lifts the makeup and I was really surprised by how much it does uh, before I used it. Then I just give it a really good blend with just a normal uh, brush. This just helps to make sure that I haven't got any lines that aren't blended in properly and um, luckily because I use a light shade it wouldn't matter too much but it is good to just blend it all together. The final part of this is just to highlight where the light hits your face. So I use this really lovely fan brush and the lightest, lightest colour of the palette just to basically bring out where anywhere that the sun hits or the light hits so top of the nose cheeks top of the cheeks um, and again this just helps lift my makeup the brushes i'm actually using are from amazon i paid about 11 quid for, for about 15 brushes they are really amazing um, i will link to those below if you are interested in those along with the other products so onto my eyebrows, I don't do a lot with them as you can probably tell but I do like to fill them in slightly and make them a, a nicer shape. So I'm using the Benefit Browsings palette. So the first thing that I do is I brush them through with the colour just to basically fill in any little gaps that are showing. Then I like to brush them out as well um, with a little spindle brush um, because that helps keep them nice and neat and then finish them off with a shade that's a little bit lighter that just keeps them in place for a little bit longer. I then curl my eyelashes with a number 7 eyelash curler before I move on to applying eyeshadow and mascara. I like to do it before, um, I don't really know why, but I've always done it before. Um, so my eyeshadow palette is another benefit one. I use a neutral um, base colour just to start off with to cover the whole of the lid. Then I move on to a slightly pinkier colour for the inner eye and then a brown for the outer lids. Um, I really like using browns as they're quite nice neutral colours for my blue eyes. Um, and then blend it all together, so you haven't got any um, bits that aren't nicely blended. I have actually got a couple of lumps on my eyelids, so it does look a little bit darker on camera, but it is blended in, uh, in the natural light.
to highlight the inner corners of my eyes with this Clinique palette. This helps to brighten those eyes. I just apply it right in the inner corners and then just over the top arch of my eyelid. To use mascara to exaggerate my lashes. I have got long lashes, but I'm not into false eyelashes, so the longer the better for me. This one is the Black Max Factor Wild Mega Volume, and it goes on really nicely. The shape of the wand is actually really nice for my eye shape. <music> makeup I do is blusher. I just add a slight pinky red just to the apples of my cheeks just for that little bit of colour. This L'Oreal Le Blush blusher is really well used as you can tell. Um, I am due a new one. Um, then the shade is Rosewood. <laughs> to fix my makeup in place for the day with the MAC Prep and Prime which is again very well used <laughs> and um, this one isn't coloured so I literally just sweep it on all over my face and it fixes everything nicely. It's a little bit like a, a powdery texture so it's quite nice. Um, and then I finish everything off with a quick squirt of Rimmel Insta Fix and Go. This smells lovely and it really does make your makeup last all day. If you enjoyed this, it'd be really great if you could subscribe and um, also take a look at my blog at beccafarrelly.co.uk. You can also find us at underscore beccafarrelly across Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I'll see you soon. Bye.